Hey Dazzlers, welcome back to my channel. As always, I hope that you are both safe and doing well. If you follow my second channel, then you remember this very unique handmade floor vase that I picked up from my local thrift store. In today's video, I share with you how I gave this old floor vase a brand new look. So if you're interested, then just keep watching. The first thing I did was remove the floral arrangement and then I cleaned my vase with mild soap and water. His face is just under three feet tall and it weighs at least 40 pounds. I allowed my vase to air dry and the following day I've decided to reshape my vase just a bit with spackle. I'm using spackle because it's super lightweight and very easy to apply. As you can see, I'm adding on the spackle similar to icing a cake. I needed quite a bit of spackle for this project, so I ended up purchasing a gallon size of the spackle from my local Home Depot. Here, I've added about three layers of the spackle, allowing each layer to dry in between. As you can see, as the spackle dries, it turns white. I also repurposed most of the floral arrangement. Since these fabric flowers were very dusty, I rinsed them with a mild soap and water, allowed them to air dry, and then I removed the felt leaves. I then spray painted the flowers and the branches with gold metallic spray paint. I'll definitely use these flowers and branches in a future project. Once my vase was completely dry, I lightly sanded the vase with a Dollar Tree sanding sponge. I used a damp cloth to remove the dust, and then once my vase was dry, I began adding these Dollar Tree beaded necklaces. To adhere my necklaces, I'm using a combination of E6000 and Aline's Tacky Glue. To adhere my first beaded necklace, I'm only using the E6000. I wanted this first necklace to be as secure as possible, so I'm adding it and allowing it to dry for about 20 minutes before adding additional necklaces. To add my next three necklaces, I'm only using the tacky glue. I've decided to use both the E6000 and the tacky glue for a couple of reasons. One, when beating a vase by hand, it's almost impossible not to make contact with the glue. Aline's Tacky Glue is non-toxic, and I feel a bit better about handling large amounts of this glue as opposed to E6000. I could, of course, use gloves instead, but using less of the E6000 also lessens my exposure to the epoxy glue and the smell associated with it. And two, Aline's Tacky Glue is a lot less expensive. You can usually purchase a large bottle of it for just a few dollars. It's relatively strong, and of course, it also dries clear. I worked on my beading over several days, and when I was done beading my vase, I had something that looked like this. Yeah. 
a day later, it was then time to spray paint. I intended to use this vase for outdoor use, so I've decided to spray paint it white using this indoor outdoor paint by Rust-Oleum. Although this spray paint includes a primer, it was still impossible for me to cover up the red beads. So I'm adding a coat of black paint and using that as a primer, I'll then be able to repaint the vase white. I was curious to see what this vase would look like in silver, so here I'm adding two coats of silver metallic spray paint. And of course, I couldn't resist seeing what the vase would look like in the color metallic gold. The really cool thing about doing a DIY project is that you can usually change the look of something completely with just a $4 can of spray paint. Let's see how well my dazzlers know me. Which color do you think I decided to stay with? If you guessed gold, you know me well. I really love how this beaded vase turned out. I think it's beautiful. But what do you guys think? Let me know down in the comments. I would love to hear from you. I hope you enjoyed this week's video. If so, please like, comment, and share. And if you're brand new to my channel, please subscribe and be sure to turn on your notifications so that you don't miss my next video. Remember, I upload new videos every single week. So until next time, Dazzlers, bye.